What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're making beautiful burger pies. It's homemade and you're going to love it. Let me introduce you guys to all the ingredients we have here today. It's going to be a very simple cook but it's going to be so beautiful and full of flavour. We've got half a kilogram of mince here. Over here we've got some beautiful selection of spices. As always I'll leave that for you guys in the description below. We've got an onion here, cheddar cheese, Buff pastry. Now guys, buff pastry you can make at home. If you want to find out how to do that, we've got a video out on that. I'll leave it in the screen somewhere for you a little bit later. Be sure to go and check that out. Got some flour here to make sure things don't stick to each other. Then we've got some egg yolks, tomato sauce, and we like to use some avocado oil for this cook that we're doing here today. As I said before, it's a very easy cook. Our main ingredients on the filling is going to be our onion. We're going to have a patty, onion, some cheese, and some beautiful sauces. It's going to be brilliant. So let's get this onion on the go. We're just going to slice it and cut it into slices today. With that said, let's get straight into this cook. For the next step, we're going to need a bowl to put our meat in. Let's do it. Right, so now we've got our ground mince, our beef here. We're just going to add all the spices. There you go. You could obviously splay with spices and add and take some away. We like to add some tomato sauce as well. It's really going to keep this burgers that we're making here, these patties, nice and moist. The tomato sauce, you just have to gauge and decide how much you want to get in there. I would say it's about three to four tablespoons. That's the texture that you want right there. It's nice and sticky. It's going to stick together. We're not going to have a problem making beautiful burgers out of this ground beef. Once we've put all our dry ingredients together, it's time for our egg. We like to put it at the end. So we're just going to make a little bit of a puddle there and then crack the egg in there. There you go. Just want to make sure there's no shells that's staying behind. And then guys, it's time to get our hands dirty. So we're going to do our burger patties. We've got a ring here, you can do it with your hand as well. We don't want to go too big. Remember it's a burger pie, it's all about the pie, the filling, the cheese, and it's not really like a hamburger that we're building here. So there you go, you can see how's that. Beautiful, not too thick, just perfect. There you go, so we're going to make three of those. We're making three burger patties here today, because we want to end up with three pies. That makes sense. So. Half a kilogram of ground beef should give you four patties. So it's entirely up to you what you guys want to do with the rest. You guys can see that the patties are really binding, looking good. It's the egg and all the other ingredients that we've put in there. The egg's definitely helping to make sure that it stays in one piece. It's not a beauty contest. We're making burger patties. It's going into the pies. It's going to be beautiful. Now it's time for our burger patties. We're just going to move the onions to the side. You want to do your burger patties on direct heat. Nice high heat is perfect for what we're doing here today. We're going to do about two minutes a side, turn it 90 degrees and do another two minutes. You don't have to get it completely cooked. 70% of the way is perfect. Remember these bad boys are going into it bigger. They're still going to cook slightly for about 40 to 50 minutes in the weaver. Guys, we've done our patties, we've done our onions, now it's time for a beautiful puff pastry that we need to get in circles to build our burger pie. I'm going to start off with some flour just to make sure that the puff pastry does not stick to the board, the surface that I'm going to work on. You want to make sure that your puff pastry, if it's not homemade, that it's out the fridge, room temperature, so you could actually work with it. Just some flour over both sides. And then we're just going to roll it slightly, roll it out a little bit. You don't want to roll it too much. If you roll it out too much, what's going to happen is your puff pastry is going to be really thin and you're not going to get that puffy pastry effect that you're really after. Once you're happy with the consistency, how you've rolled it out, it's time to make those circles. Make sure that the top and bottom is much bigger than your actual burger patty. Don't get rid of the excess as the excess we can reuse again. We're just going to roll it up and then stick it into the freezer. Now that all our ingredients are prepped, 
We're ready to go. We've got some buff pastry for the bottom of the pie and the top. Let's put all of these guys together, get them on the weeber. You know it's going to be delicious. So first we want to make sure that our skillet is properly sprayed to spray and cook or oiled, whatever you like to do. So you want to put the bottom parts on. We might not have space for all three. One of these pies we're going to do in a small skillet on the side here. And we're just going to find space in the Weber for it. There you go. Fantastic. What you do on the one, we're going to do on the others. Firstly, you want to put some tomato sauce. There you go. Try and keep to the middle. So the outside, we're going to make sure that it sticks to the top part of this pie. So you don't want any sauces around that area. Otherwise, it might not stick. Right. Then we're going to put our patty down. There you go. Nice and in the middle. There you go. We want to add some onions, caramelized onions to the top. Just spread it out. And this is where it gets fun. You decide how much you want to put on and how little you want to put on. So it's entirely up to you. Once we've done the onions, we're going to add a little bit more tomato sauce. And one of our favorites, this is a sweet chili burger pie. So we need some sweet chili. You can be liberal. No pie is a pie without cheese. Let's do it. You can see we didn't play with the cheese today. Again, put as much on there as you like. Go, what do you think? Enough cheese? A little bit more. Go says a little bit more. Just going to do that. Each one a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Happiness. Right, guys, now it's time for our top layer of the pie. You can stretch it out a little bit if you like to make sure it goes over everything. Right, guys, the next move is very easy. We're going to use a fork and we're going to turn these ends up and just move the fork back onto itself. And then these pies are almost ready to go. Right, guys, this is very straightforward. Lift it up and over itself, just like that. Remember, it's homemade pie, so we don't really care if it looks homemade, because that's the beauty about it. It needs to look nice and fresh and made with love, so that's perfect. Right, guys, I think we might manage to get this last pie on the same griddle, so we're definitely going to try. Even if they touch each other slightly, let's see. Right, so we're just going to move them in like that. There you go. Perfect. Right, next step, guys. You want to use your egg yolk. Just go over the top of these pies. Make sure they're nicely covered. It's going to help to get them nice and golden brown. It's definitely going to make it look pretty and taste delicious. I'm going to place the thermometer just so that we can measure the temp. There you go. Guys, it's been 35 minutes and I think these burger pies, nice and golden brown and perfect. That moment we've all been waiting for, 35 minutes in the Weber, you saw the rest. These beautiful puppies need to be cut up. You can see they're beautiful, so let's dig in. That moment of truth. Look at that. Whoa, boys. Have a look at that. That looks amazing. Right, now to have a bite. These guys are piping hot, so we're going to give it a minute or two, and then I'm going to take a bite. Boys and girls, this looks absolutely delicious. It's still warm, but hey, let's have a bite. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mmm, mmm. That's amazing. The spices we put into these burger patties, it's just crazy. It's like boudoir, basically. If you don't know what that is, if you've got a video on that as well, go check it out. But guys, these are beautiful. You guys should try this at home. We need to dig in here. We need to say cheers to you guys. We've got a membership. Guys, go check that out if you like. We really appreciate that. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers to your health.